Have you been thinking of becoming a web application ethical hacker? This is your best chance to take an action. I've prepared a free OWASP Top 10 hands-on lab which will teach you just that. Simply visit the page in the description box, pause the video and download it, then come back. If you've already downloaded it, let me congratulate you on taking your first action. In this video, you will learn how to start your lab. The first thing you need to install is a VirtualBox software. Make sure to choose the right platform package. If you have Windows, then click here. If you have a Mac, click here. If you have a Linux, click here. And if you have Solaris, click here. So I'm just going to click on OS, X hosts and save the file okay once you've installed virtualbox you should have access to it so from here all you need to do is just double click on the file that you've downloaded and here you have all the requirements for the virtual machine make sure to have at least one gig of ram otherwise you would have some problems running the web applications click import in the bottom and you should have your OWASP training box down here. Now the first thing we need to do is set up our networking. So go to settings, then network. And here you should go to adapter 2 and verify that you have a bridged adapter here. And then click OK. So before running our VM, we need to find its IP address. And to do that, it's really simple. All you need to do is install fbing using brew if you are on Mac or using apt-get install if you're on Linux. Now what you need to do is list all the IP addresses that you have in your network. And then all we need to do is start running our VM and verify that we have a new IP address. So click on start here on VirtualBox. Now we have a login prompt on our box. So what we need to do here is repeat the same command that we did before, fbing. And you can see right away that we have a new IP address. So now what we need is to just SSH into our box. We do that using SSH, the username is the hackerish, then we choose the new IP address, and then enter the password, which is the hackerish, the same as the username. All right, now we accessed the virtual machine that hosts all our applications that we're going to hack. Now, what you need to do is simply start a script that's already prepared so it's dot slash start dot sh and then hit enter you will see some output that our applications are being run after about 30 seconds you just go to the web browser and paste your ip address of the virtual machine and then you append the port number which corresponds to one of your web vulnerable web applications. So OWASP Juice Shop is running on port 3000. And there you have it. Everything is ready for you to start learning, practicing, and sharpening your skills on web applications hacking. The same thing we can do for WebGoat. So let's open a new tab and then target the port 8080 slash webgoat there you have it you have the access to webgoat and you can register a new user and start hacking in our OWASP top 10 training series we target some challenges which require OWASP webwolf which is already running in this box so what you can do is just open a new tab paste in your your IP address of the vulnerable VM box and then append 1990 for the port number of WebWolf and then WebWolf case sensitive. All you have to do now is just log into WebWolf using your registered user from OWASP WebGoat and you should be good to go.
And once you've set up all of this, go straight to the OWASP built-in training series and start your journey in learning web hacking.